Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much for listening to this YouTube channel. So April 19, Wednesday, our market dropped 18.37 points or down 0.28% close at 6,446.35 value turnovers at 3.2 billion pesos. No market is muted. There's nothing going on. We're waiting for cues. And it looks like uh, we're just waiting for U.S. market to drop, no? So, soft recession. Para naman may volatility sa market natin, no? So, right now, index is generally tired. No? So, there's nothing going on. And people are just waiting for, uh, even watching NBA news, playoffs. No? Damon Green is suspended for... The next game, no, for stepping on Sabonis. Anyway, video they announced their uh, first quarter net income, which is around 16.5 billion, which is up 41 percent year on year, and down for 4 percent quarter on quarter. So FYI lang, no. So M rate also reported a net loss. Uh, of around 177 million last year so anyway revenues amounted to around 3.6 billion which is up 150 percent year on year earnings before interest uh in income tax was at 2.9 billion which is up 139 percent year on year so anyway <coughs> anyway uh starting this first starting first quarter 2023 no uh, if you don't know, uh, the first property for shares up between Megaworld and Emirate will also contribute to revenues after obtaining the SEC approval last month, which will at least help boost dividends declared as early as this quarter, second quarter. So, so let's monitor this. Uh, uh, what else? Megawhite and Araneta Group is also seeking some arbitration. There's, there's some issue with regards to the construction. Uh, because of uh, the pandemic, if you don't know, uh, last because of the pandemic, huminto yung mga construction. Uh, they cannot afford to pay. Uh, so, M. White is claiming around 339 million from uh, the Araneta Group, while Araneta Group also filed a counterclaim around 1.5 billion. So, the counterclaim uh, stems from the alleged violations relative to the 4.5 billion construction contract for the expansion of. Uh, the mall in Araneta, which is yung gateway mall. So, sabi naman ni Mega Wide in their disclosure, the counterclaims will not have a significant impact as far as the operations are concerned. So, sobra minimal na lang to, since uh, the amount uh, the, the other party is claiming would be around 1.9% of its receivables. Speaking of that, no, uh, yesterday we discussed about SECP. So, Security Bank is also aiming to double its lending to MSMEs as they're launching a business banking segment to focus on the sector. So, anyway. So, that's the growth there eh, for this company. So they, they, at least SECP expects it to contribute around 30 to 40 percent of its total projected lending growth this year, which SECP expects to be uh, in the high single digit after expending 12% year on year to around 5 point, uh, 503 billion in 2022. So, target nila yung mga small consumers. Costco! Uh, fourth quarter net income also grew to 2 billion, which is up 11% year on year. So, this is the holding company of Pure Gold. And speaking of that, uh, Keeper, which is. Uh, their fourth quarter net income also grew 635 million, which is up 23% year on year. So, because of this uh, robust uh, performance of Alfonso, which surpassed pre pandemic levels with its uh, premium market of, of imported brandy. So, I don't have this, but I have GSMI. So, pili lang kayo dun. So, China Bank, I think they're expecting some dividends here. They also announced their earnings 19.1 billion. With a 30% dividend policy, uh, I expect around 1 peso and 50 centavos, around 2 pesos dividend. So at current price, I think it's just 4%. Let's see. 
GT, uh, GMA7 also announced their earnings, which is lower than the previous years because of lower revenue uh, from ad spending. L last year was an election year. Of course, the market reacted to that. Kaya nga nauna ng sell-off. No? So, yikes. SGP, we already discussed that. It's now trading at a new 52-week low, no? 10 pesos, 10.32, around that price. So, medyo alanganin rin. For market sentiment talaga. What else to go, no? Will also be the listing from PSE. So, they already got the approval of their stockholders meeting. Uh, stockholders. Uh, all same, rebranded it's a cement product. So, we already discussed that. So, MY. Anyway, our passcode for today is Draymond Green. No, sayang, no? Ganda ng laban sa NBA. Mas excited pa tayo, tayo dun. No? So, SSI continued to rally. No? Felix, nag-peak na, 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 na rin. No? So, we're tracing. Unfortunately, I'm not bullish on Felix because, sabi nga, they have a mine. But, unfortunately, commercial operations will start operating in 2025. Eh? So, that's a problem there. SSI is a turnaround company no? from from uh, net loss the past previous years. The revenge spending, it boosted their performance. Ayan. But it's approaching at resistance level. Anyway, WM, Gilbert Travisan, Gaming Central, Ray Toledo, Abanilla Emerson, hi, no? Jamie Velasco, Velasco, ERC, John Edison, Aquino, Jason Chan, Blueberry, Limitless, Mark, Jennifer, Derwa, and Oliver Wendell Goff, Francis, Elo, D, JD, and Michael, and JR, Royal J. Ay, I forgot, no? RCBC announced, yun na. Uh, they have a special block sale the other day in the last week. It was one of their subsidiaries of no, Pan Malayan. No? So at, it looks like they're consolidating their uh, shares na to one single entity. I don't know kung sino seller though. No? So again, thank you very much for listening. Stay safe. Bye!